The only thing y'all can do is put me out because y'all done got the gate open. I'm sorry, but I came in. What's up, Boosie? What you doing, Boosie? Oh, it says Boosie is that is that Boosie right there, bro? Hello and welcome back to Woman Has and Music News and Gossip. But you ain't heard it from me. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around because we're about to serve you a dish hotter than a Louisiana summer day. We're plunging head first into the wild world of Boosie and his not so friendly neighborhood stalker. You know Boosie, the rap legend who's got more drama than a soap opera marathon? Well, brace yourselves because he's knee deep in a scandal so wild it'll have you scratching your head and clutching your sides. Imagine this, Boosie's got a stalker straight out of a Lifetime movie sneaking into his crib like she's auditioning for Mission Impossible. But hold on to your hats because this lady isn't just popping in for the occasional cup of sugar. Oh no, she's making herself right at home. Who in their right mind show up at someone's house 14 days in a row without so much as hello. Either Boosie's got a hidden talent for picking up strays or this lady's got a serious GPS malfunction. Talk about commitment. But wait, it gets even crazier. Boosie in a move that'll have you question his sanity faster than you can say bad decision. Decides not to press charges. Yeah, you heard that right. Maybe he's got a soft spot for the Looney Tunes, or maybe he's just trying to avoid the drama like a pro. Now, some folks speculate that Boosie must have hit that back in the day, and with the way she keeps showing up, it's hard not to wonder if there's some truth to that rumor. I started making her laugh, it was over then. I'm telling you, cause I met, cause we started hitting it off about, about two weeks before her birthday. So I come in the house, I come in the house across the track, I got buku bags and shit, cologne, number tummy heel figure everywhere. My mama thought it was for her. I say this ain't for you. <laughs> <laughs> We had a time last night. <laughs> boy, we had a time last night. I'm telling you now. My, my mama say, boy, you who this for? This for me? I say, shit, no, ma. <laughs> <laughs> who you in love with? I don't know who mother need to hear this, but your son dick gave crazy. That shit crazy, ma. Woo! You did that. Yes, shut up. I went all out for her first birthday, you hear me? Then, when, then, 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 when her mama started letting me come over there, I let her drive my car to school. Yes. Stunting on them niggas at a stroom. Yeah, that's how I was coming, G. Yeah. I wanna say I love you so bad, but I don't wanna scare you away. I start making her laugh, it was over then. I'm telling you, cause I met cause we start hitting it off about, about two weeks before her birthday. Total make a wish 11 what she tweeted. Let me be your genie, sneak it, link it, we don't tell it, kiss it. So I come in the house, I come in the house across the track, I got buku bags and shit, cologne. Number tummy heel figure everywhere. My mama thought it was for her. I say this ain't for you. <laughs> yeah, that's how I was coming. Yeah, you driving. Hey, I don't feel like getting up right now. Take it to school. Yeah, that's how I'm coming. Yeah. Yeah. She in ninth grade, pulling up in my shit. Yeah, and this the other side of town. So you know I'm trying to make ops jealous and everything. I'm trying to make ops jealous. I got the baddest thing in the school. And she pulling up in my shit. Do not play with me. Yeah, I'm like that. Do not play with me. Yeah, man. We got a jury. The earrings, the match, the bracelet. 
go Need on. a change. Oh. Yeah, man. Jury with a name on it, man. That's how I'm coming, man. This how I'm coming at 16, man. Do your research, man. I've been that, man. Speaking of drama, let's talk about those kids. Rumor has it, Boos is thinking about adopting them. Now call me skeptical, but something smells fishier than last week's crawfish boil. Adopting your stalker's kids. That's a lifetime movie plot twist waiting to happen. But why won't Boosie just get a restraining order, you ask? Well, let's just say she's a nutcase showing up in high heels and socks standing in the rain with the kids in the back seat screaming for their daddy. Boosie might just be the father after all. And let's not forget that time he admitted to getting down and dirty with a crackhead. Yikes, talk about a blast from the past. What is the oldest woman that you've ever slept with? What age? Uh, be fucking real as fuck. No fuckery. Probably when I was young, I was about 15. It was a crackhead. How old was she? Uh, about 55, 50. Okay. That, that is a big age. That's like three times the age, more, almost four times. Yeah. Four times, four times the age. That was the oldest difference. Yeah. Okay. Would you still do that? Uh, I mean... Well, I be down. Go, Jay! Get your ass home! You dying fucking again! People been calling my phone back to back to back to back! You better run! You better run like a bitch trying to shoot you! You better run! You better get hit! Love a natural woman. Everyone loves a natural woman. I love a. You probably because but... I'm a little older, so I, I, I love a natural woman. I love to put a in my mouth that. I can, you know, make it go around, you know, it's not going to stay there. <laughs> you know, I love to, to, to grip a where I can feel us down there, feel her spine. No, Vlad, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> you grip it all the way to the spine, yeah, huh? all you the know, way to the bone. You know, I love stretch marks, them little stretch marks on the hips and shit like that. Those tiger tiger booty. Oh tiger my booty. God. Oh my yeah. God. How did you get here? Bitch, I caught the fuck. Nobody supposed to be here. Well, bitch, I came the fuck. I tried that love thing for the last time. My heart says no, no. Well, bitch, your heart can't talk. Nobody supposed to be here. Well, they go that door. Excuse me. Yes. Little tiger stripes, bro. Yeah. I look. Because, you know, I come in. I come up at a time when. It was Holly Beard. Yeah. Whitney Houston. Yeah. Jada Pinky. Yeah. Uh them the, you know, that's what I that's what I fell in love with first. Right. Before, you know, as a teenager, you know, Madonna, when she was, you know, like those women, those that was everything to me, you know. I'm so motherfucking heated right now. I can't stand for somebody to talk shit and I can't get to him. Cause ho, you're not talking about Nate Dangers. You're not talking about Nate Dangers. People gonna start stalking me. I already got fans coming to my house at night taking pictures outside the gate and shit. Using my house for their backdrop. Coming in front of the gate. Every night they got somebody coming in front of my gate, taking pictures. I think I'm finna put a fucking wooden gate in front of my Shit getting out of hand, bro. Then it be a car full of them, like, happy as a motherfucker. I had ran my cameras back the other day. I was like, it was kind of funny though. <laughs> 
they take a picture, then they get back in the car and run. They run back to the car. Another lady came and uh, she said she's my fiance. <laughs> Have you ever met this person? No. No. She, um, uh, how's my, she my boy trying to, my boy was trying <laughs> to tell her. How, how does she look, first of all? Uh, she about a five. A five, okay. She about a five, six. Okay. And um, my boy was like, uh, don't do that in front of your kids in the back seat. And um, I was looking out the window and she just going, she pulled out some fucking Claire earrings. Said, he bought me these. <laughs> you don't see these diamonds? He bought me these. Fake diamonds. <laughs> so uh, I walked outside, it's on the video. I'm like, you gotta go, man. She's like, don't play with me. Like it was bad. It was the most, bro. <laughs> with the kids in the car, my boy, like, get a, get a, get, just get away from me. You doing that bad in front of these kids. And she was, man, it was, it was bad, bro. It was. The only thing y'all can do is put me out, cause y'all done got the gate open. I'm sorry, but I came in. What's up, Boosie? What you doing, Boosie? Yo. It says Boosie is that is that Boosie right there, bro? Looks like his pass came back to bite him in the ass. Yeah, we got our ass now. Look, crazy stalker. Yeah. Torrance Hatch, also known as Lil Boosie, says for about the past 14 days or so, an unidentified Georgia woman sat outside of his estate, alleging to be his wife. Yeah, we got our ass now. Look, crazy stalker. Yeah. Hey, the other day she pulled up, jumped out with two BB. Talking about she finna spray the house. The day before that, after that, she jumped out again with, with two BB and tried to walk up on Tootie. Nigga finna put up. The last week she came again, talking about she we married and I bought her twenty thousand dollar earrings. A month ago, she did some more shit. Now today she come block my driveway off so nobody can't get, so nobody can't come through. Tell me she ready to die with her kids in the car. Stalk her ass. You trying a nigga now. You trying a nigga now. Bitch done block my driveway off tonight. You know she crazy. Bitch got on socks and, and bitch got on socks and heels. You know she crazy. They just walked the kids in the car, bro. They just put the kids in that car, bro. They need to take them damn kids from us. I adopt them kids. I adopt them kids, man. They need to take them damn kids from us. She's not out here. She crazy out here. Yeah, I don't even, I'm not gonna let her daughter go with her, even if I do let her go. Cause she's not out here. So it's up to me? Yeah, it's up to you. I mean, she got me on her, I mean, I can take her for that. But as far as what she's doing to you, it's on you. Man, let her, let her ride. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna get her to the judge. Let her ride, man. Them children don't need to be with her, though, man. Yeah, so You I'm can tell her she crazy, huh? Oh, yeah, she all over here. Uh, uh, Even the daughter yes. said that you was her dad. And I said, her, my daughter say I'm a dad? Her daughter said that. But I asked, yeah. I said, who's your real dad? She, I said, is that really your dad? She said, no, that's what my mom said. But my real dad, I forgot his name. So, yeah, let her, let her ride, bro, but give her a warning that she going to jail next time. Pussy speaks stalk, on his stalker. That four months, about probably five months. That's about her eight time coming and not want to leave. I mean, she crazy. Crazy ain't the word, bro. She been coming for like six months straight, bro. Like, she came three times this week saying she gonna shoot up the house. We thought she had real guns, but they was BB guns. Tell me she ready to die, she go kill me. Nah, I told him let her go, bro. I mean, give her a warning. I can't put nobody in jail, bro. I mean, I just let her go. I don't think they, I think they, uh, Call somebody else for a kid though, because police were like she really messed up in the head, bro. The child, the little girl, called me her daddy. And she said her mama told her that, and all kinds of shit. 
she need to get some help, bro. One day she came in the yard with some earrings from Claire's. She said, you can keep these $50,000 earrings, that was about five months ago. I went to the car and I told her, I say, I don't know you. I say, I never seen you in my life. She like, really, Torrance? Calling me by my real name. I'm like, woman, get from out of my fucking yard. I've never seen you in my life. She been coming over here like six months, bro. Like, once every month. I was out of town. She came the other day. They called me like, man, bro, I'm finna, bro. It, it almost got real bad, bro. She in front of the gate flashing a BB gun. It looked like a real gun, though. Telling me come out or she gonna shoot this bitch up and I ain't letting the dog on her. My dog's gonna kill her. I ain't letting no dog on my dog. Vicious, bro. Meanwhile, the feds are lurking outside Boosie's crib like they're auditioning for a role and CSI Baton Rouge. Starting to think they just looking at my mother out. Might be a fade. We been in front of the house a month, bro. Tell about they wrapping up. You won't wrap up. I don't give a who. I ain't doing shit. I know feds, I ain't doing shit. I beat the game, I ain't doing shit. Leave me the alone. Empower people, they been on the fucking power line for a month. They looking for mother nothing in video, I ain't got shit. And those 16 guard dogs he supposedly got protecting his fortress. All they do is run, jump up like they crazy. All they do is run, jump, look. But don't bring another dog around. Nah. You know, he was, he was the he I got dogs in the yard waiting on any motherfucker come on. You got to get past the dogs first. I got 16 dogs. They just got one more yesterday. A black motherfucker. I got 16 now. I, the list was 15 yesterday morning. Oh, yeah, you're talking about I got a little black motherfucker in here now. He, hey, then the motherfucker was laid on the motherfucking couch. See why Fifi getting on his ass. See your ass. Hey. Man, that man with that for that people don't want to hear that they said that. That man with your husband. Yeah, they just don't want to hear that. So, the black one, the black one here that used to be in my house that I took to my house. I raised the two. That's him. Man, Hunter, hit that. Look, you have to say, look, Hunter was stood by, by Boo. Why he did that, huh, Boo? Yeah. Ooh, that black bitch getting big. Like, he's big, man, bro. That bitch is getting big. This is how you know you're too. Put feelings out there. You know what you're gonna do? I got them dogs. You gotta get past them dogs first. Then you gotta get past the first flow. Then the second flow. Then the third flow. Then I might can hit y'all the fourth flow. They're about as useful as a screen door in a summer ring. A to be master for sale. This motherfucker gotta go. This motherfucker eating up everything. Kip fucking all the dogs up. This motherfucker a beast. He gotta get the fuck. I got three to be masters. They them big ass dogs. These bitches don't listen. They speak Russian. You gotta speak Russian. Man, these bitches fucking over everything. Attacking the dogs, damn they kill. All bark and no bite. Just like Boosie X's. <laughs> Hey, at least he's got a mansion, right? Wrong. That two million dollar investment is giving him more headaches than a frat house during finals week. Hard work. I build this shit by myself. I bought the land first, and I built me my mansion on a state on top of it. I ain't even had the money to buy the house. I build it. 
Every show I went did, I brought it back and paid for 40,000 a weekend, 50,000, 50,000, 50,000. So you know it was two million. I only had enough money to do the basement. But I had to grind. I came home, I was broke, so I had to grind. And I paid for my estate like 50,000 a weekend. Just 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. For you know. Voila. Fuck. They must know my owl fate. Man, look at them bitches laying all that shit up there. I had my fake owls up there. They found out the owl wasn't fake no more. They found out the owl was fake, man. Now them bitches everywhere. I'm gonna I'm kill all you bitches. I'm gonna murder all you fucking birds. They found out my owls was fake. I had two owls right here. Look at my fake owls. Them bitches found out my owls was fake. Them bitches back. Now they everywhere. Look. Look at them bitches, man. Man. Hey, them bitches found out. Them bitches smart. I got something for y'all bitches. I'm gonna kill all y'all bitches. Puss ass birds, man. Bitches invaded my house. Then they don't want shit up. I'm finna shoot at them. Bitch. Ain't them bitches up there, bro. Dang, if I get a BB gun, they gonna mess up the paint and shit, huh? Yeah, it might. That BB gun might mess up the paint. Man, what the fuck? Man, you might gotta get old pits, nigga, the Man, I need a man, bro. Look at them bitches, man. Them bitches found out my owl wasn't real. <laughs> Bullshit ass owl, man. Man, them bitches found out, man. <laughs> Man, them bitches found out my owl wasn't real, man. I'm finna kill them bitches. I got something for y'all bitches. Oh, scary ass bitches. From birds pooping all over his pristine property to mysterious power line workers snooping around, Boos is living in a real life episode of the Twilight Zone. So what's really going on behind the gates of Boos' mansion? Is he a magnet for craziness, or is there something more sinister at play? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, when it comes to Boosie, expect the unexpected, and remember, when life gives you lemons, make some lemonade and enjoy the show. Enter our exclusive raffle for a chance to win a free EBT card, loaded with $500. Simply subscribe to our channel, comment your favorite meal emoji, Hit that like button and share this video to spread the joy. Your support not only enters you into the exciting draw, but also helps us create more amazing content for you. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Join the raffle now and let the good vibes and groceries flow. Tonight. Eat better tonight. Eat better tonight. Ah. E -E Thank you. Rumor has it. Music, news, and gossip.